What's going on, Tiger fans? I know this video is a day late, but don't really care at this point. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I had stuff going on this weekend uh, for Memorial Day weekend, and I just didn't have time to do it. So, so be it. But what I'll do is uh, I will recap the first game with the Pirates, and uh, I'll do the whole, it's basically a home and home series. We got two here, then two in Pittsburgh. So I might as well do all four right now. So it was a four-game set with the Minnesota Twins, and the Twins were coming in just battered, man. They had lost eight straight games. Uh, they weren't playing very good baseball, and the Tigers coming in looking to get stuff back on track a little bit. And uh, game one, Tigers won six to seven. It was a close game. Uh, Tigers came out to the early lead, and then Minnesota battled back to take the lead. And uh, basically, it was a huge hit late rally. Uh, Prince Fielder drove in a run in the bottom of the eighth to uh, give the Tigers the 6-7 to seven lead. And uh, Rick Porcello this game did not look amazing, but I'll cut him a little bit of slack. It was his first bad start in a while. He only went five innings, ten hits, five run runs, one walk, two strikeouts. And it wasn't a pretty start. But Porcello, for the most part, his last four starts has been pretty good. I think he has an ERA of 366 in his last four starts going into this one, so you got to cut him some kind of slack. And then game two, nearly history. Throughout this whole game, Anibal Sanchez looked flat out nasty. He had a no-hitter with one out in the ninth before Joe Maurer, and you knew it was going to be him that was going to break it up. They have to face the top of the order again. Joe Maurer lined a single up the middle to end it, and it looked like Sanchez was going to get it because he was honestly cruising through the entire night. The The... The way he was pitching, it was basically no pressure whatsoever on him. Uh, just cruising. The twin setters looked awful. He was throwing his change up, his curve, slider, fastball, you name it. All for strikes. Twin setters were out in front all night. He looked flat out nasty. It was probably the best he's is the best game he's ever pitched as a Tiger uh, besides that 17 strikeout game and I went to. And game three, the Twins finally got on the, uh, got on the board. And won a game. Doug Fister had struggled early in this game. Gave up three runs real quick in the first inning. And then settled down really nicely after that. Ended up striking out seven. Only walked one in his uh, last six innings of work. He went seven innings. And, but his last six innings were outstanding. But the Tigers couldn't muster up enough runs to uh, come back and beat the Twins. They ended up winning three to two. Uh, so the Tigers' offense this game looked kind of crappy. Uh, you got to hand it to P.J. Walters. He looked really good uh, the entire night. And you, can, you still can't get mad at Fist for seven innings, three earned runs. That's a quality start. I'll take that almost every time out. And then game four, the Tigers, man, took the series. Max Scherzer went out, pitched another great game. His walks were kind of high. He walked three hitters, struck out six in six innings. But Avisail Garcia had a freaking huge hit. Bases clearing triple, pinch hit, and sealed the deal for the Tigers. And they uh, won this game 6-1, to one, took 3-4 of four from the Twins. And the Twins are pretty much uh, they're staggering right now. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, their pitching staff has been awful so far, which I kind of figured they would be. You know, Vance Worley got option to triple A, which is why uh, P.J. Walters was starting. Uh, their offense hasn't looked great at all. They are taking really, when I was watching them, man, their, their offense was taking really bad swings. Uh, not really hitting in clutch situations at all. You know, they only had that one game where they scored, when they scored that three runs. Oh, no, they scored six runs, basically. Yeah, it was in the first game of the series. I mean, the Twins are looking like a really bad team right now. And it doesn't surprise me because they were a 500 team about two weeks ago. And you knew that the Twins eventually, with how bad their bullpen is, how bad their pitching staff is, you knew that they were going to fall back down to earth sometime before they hit that brick wall. Just like the Royals, they're 21 and 27. You know, you knew eventually they were going to hit the brick wall and fall back down to earth. And uh, the Twins hit it real hard. So game one of the Pittsburgh series, JV comes out and gets Francisco Liriano. Bit of uh, shades past, shades of the past from when uh, Liriano was on the Twins and he was the ace of the Twins. Uh, back in 06, these two guys were two of the best young starters in baseball. And, you know, Liriano really dipped off. He had arm problems and stuff. Really hasn't been consistent. You know, Verlander's Verlander, one of the best pitchers in baseball. But Verlander this game, he had a weird stat line. He ends up going seven innings. Well, giving up seven hits, but he had five of the seven hits were extra base hits, but struck out 13. 
Now, this was the best Verlander has looked all year, uh, even though he gave up the three earned runs. He only had one earned run going into the seventh, but uh, Twins rallied for a couple and got two more runs off him to make it uh, three to five. But his curveball this game was really sharp. His fastball command this game is the best it's looked in a long time uh, since the start of the year, to be honest with you. Uh, his changeup command looked really good this game, even though his changeup command hasn't been that bad at all. And his slider command looked good. Yesterday was the best I've saw Verlander for secondary pitches all year. You know, this is the Verlander we're typically accustomed to seeing. Um, typically, you know, when Verlander's really on his A games, the Twins would have only got one run because uh, they got one, or the Pirates. The Pirates got one run early off him, and then he shut the door until the seventh inning. And, uh,. That's when they broke through, but they had five doubles this game on Verlander. Verlander's been giving up a lot of extra base hits this year. It's been kind of weird, but still, it was nice to see a game where Verlander goes more than three innings or five innings. I mean, he's been getting rocked around his last three starts. It was a good outing for him and uh, shut a lot of people up, which I was glad to see because people are sitting there talking like Max Scherzer's new ace, and it's like, just, just stop. Uh, and then today at 7.08 p.m., Ricky P goes out against Gomez. Uh, to try to uh, take the quick two-game series at home before we head out to Pittsburgh. Uh, like I said, Ricky P didn't look that sharp last time out, but he's been pitching okay. Anibal Sanchez looks to follow up his no-hit bid, close to near no-hit bid on uh, Wednesday. Gets A.J. Burnett, who, that guy, he, ever since he put on a Pirates uniform, he's been really, really good. He's been... Uh, He's up there in lead league in strikeouts. He's got a whip of just a shade over 1, 257 ERA. He's pitching good. That's probably one of the best pickups the Pirates have had in the last few years. And then to close off the home-and-home -home series, Dougie Fresh goes up against Locke. Uh, Jeff Locke. Or Loki, I think his name is. No, maybe it's Locke. I don't know. Locky, whatever. All I know is he's 5-1. He has a 245 ERA, so he's been pitching pretty good this year. Uh, Doug Fister, like I said, he had a bit of a rough outing his last time out. But... He still did enough, you know, to 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 get the win. He only gave up three runs in seven innings, and you know he didn't pitch that bad. Uh, and he, uh, I think he hit another batter. He's been hitting so many batters this year; it's not even funny. So, really, nothing to rant about right now. The Tigers, they've been playing good baseball. They won six of the last seven, twenty-nine and twenty, nearly ten games over five hundred. Uh, back in first place, so it's where you want to be right now. You know, the Indians are starting to lose a little bit. You know, the Royals are losing. The White Sox are getting hot, but, you know, they're, they're still a 500 squad, and the Twins are just plummeting. So everything's good right now in Tiger Land. Verlander really straightened out his last time out. Offense has been looking good. Uh, bullpen's been getting the job done for the most part. Uh, guys been filling in great for Austin Jackson. You know, big, nice hits from Dirks and Garcia. Been getting the job done. So there's nothing really complaining about right now. I'm pretty content with the way this team is playing, and we keep playing the way we are. Should, you know the rest of the year be all set so no anger in this video nothing to rant about no nothing go tigers